Henry Barnes was a pastoralist and studmaster of the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales. Born in Cumberland, England in 1818, he came to the colony of New South Wales in 1840. In 1843, he came to the Northern Rivers. Barnes was considered a very skilled cattle manager and judge. He is renowned for developing three prize-winning herds, Devons, Shorthorns and Herefords. Barnes was a partner in Barnes & Smith Brothers, a firm which helped create the Australian beef cattle industry. By 1857, he was living at Daraba, where he managed the Richmond River herds. Dairaba is the remaining core, I guess, of what was a large, very large pastoral property. There were a number of Aboriginal people living on the property and families, and they were working for the Barneses. Uh, and they lived down near the creek. There were some houses down there. Uh, he certainly seems to have been a very prominent character. Um, and he, um, the whole family was, played, I think, a significant role in the local community. Henry Barnes married Grace Isabella Hindmarsh on the 3rd of August, 1857. They had 11 children together, six sons and five daughters. Tragically, one of their sons, William Fulford Barnes, died at a young age in 1876 from colitis. As an isolated location, it would have been, had to be very self-sufficient, so they would have had someone who could, you know, milk the cows, there was carpenters, there would have been male managers and caretakers at the property. You would have had to make everything. Wood was needed for a large stove in the kitchen. The Bullock team would drag in logs from the paddock. Then, standing on either end of a cross-cut saw, two men sawed the logs. A yard man would then split the wood with an axe and it was ready for the stove. There's evidence at the site of the production of tallow, um, which is a process of boiling down cattle, um, the carcasses of cattle, once they've taken the meat off, and that is then used for uh, the production of soap. They would have made candles, uh, soap that they could have sold, um, to perhaps as a way of procuring items that they couldn't make themselves. Henry Barnes died in November 1896. After his death, three women were considered the mistresses of Daraba. Grace Isabella Barnes, her sister Susan Hindmarsh, and Grace and Henry's second daughter, Grace Agnes Barnes. Grace Isabella Barnes died in 1925. Grace Agnes Barnes and Henry Spark Barnes, one of Henry and Grace Isabella's sons, became the proprietors of Daraba. Their whole reason would have been towards um, working and maintaining a property and making sure that they, people can be fed and making sure things get done. So they would have had to be very strong women. 